Hey YouTube, in this video, I'll be showing you how I edit photos in Lightroom and Photoshop. But first, roll the intro! What's up guys? If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and watch out for more content. So today, we'll be doing an on-the-spot photo edit. I'll be using a photo from an Instagram photo editing contest called hashtag PM15KFFA. It stands for Portrait Movement, 15K Followers, Free For All. You can look it up on Instagram. I'll also put a link down on the description on how you can participate in the contest. It's my first time opening and editing this image, so I haven't really decided what colors or tones I will be applying to this image. I'll be showing you my process on how I edit photos in Lightroom and Photoshop. Please note that there is no right or wrong editing process. You should practice and come up with your own workflow that works best for you. Also, colors are subjective, so what looks good for you might not look good for others. But to each his own, if you're happy with your edit, so be it. It's your edit so you can do whatever you want. Just be creative and use your imagination. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. First things first, you need to import the photo in Lightroom. Go to the library module and add a folder or image. Then to start editing, go to the develop module. I usually start by correcting the exposure and white balance. I do so by clicking the auto exposure and auto white balance button. If it looks good, then I proceed to tweaking the colors. If I don't like the auto settings, I do it manually using the sliders. In this case, I already like the exposure and white balance. So I will be applying a preset which I think looks good on this image. Yes, I do use presets. I find nothing wrong with it. I mainly use it as a starting point until I come up with the final theme or tone for the image. Presets can actually guide you to create your own style. Again, this makes my editing faster, but I do manually tweak the colors if the presets don't look good on the image. Okay, so I've selected this preset, and now it's time to tweak it a little bit to my liking. To see the difference, click on the backslash on the keyboard. This is the before, this is the after. Before, after. Before, after. After I'm done with the colors, I can send this to Photoshop for face retouching. Right click on the image and select edit in Photoshop. The first thing I do is duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then, I click the spot healing brush and start removing the blemishes like pimples and dark spots. There are other ways to remove blemishes, but this is how I normally do it. This could take a while so I'll speed up the process. Now I have to admit, I use a Photoshop action for skin retouching. It just makes editing a lot easier and faster, especially if you're only posting on social media. It's a free action I found online after searching and testing a few of them. If you want a copy of this action, comment down below with your email address and I'll send it to you. So now I will run the action and wait for it to finish loading. It creates a new layer with a mask and now you can start brushing the face to make it smooth. Zoom in on the image, then press the backslash key to show the red overlay so you can see clearly that you're only painting on the face. Press B to select the brush tool and make sure that the white is the foreground and black is the background. Press the left and right bracket keys to resize the brush. Okay, let's start brushing. Now press the backslash key again and press X to toggle the brush color to white. Start painting on the eyes, lips and nose to make them pop. You can also play around with the opacity of the brush for a desired effect. Press Ctrl 0 to see the entire image. Group the skin retouching layer in the layer below it by selecting both layers, then clicking on Ctrl G. Then you can just click the eye icon on the layers panel to see the before and after of the image. Now it's time to crop the image to best fit on Instagram. Select the crop tool and select 4 by 5 aspect ratio. Try to use the rule of thirds in cropping. Select file, export, save for web, then set the width and length to 1080 by 1350. Set the quality between 70 to 100%, then click save. And we're done! This is how I usually edit my photos. It's no secret, and I'm sure there are other ways to do it, 
but this is my workflow. It works well for me and I'm satisfied with the outcome. The only way to get better is consistency. So keep practicing until you improve your craft. Follow me on Instagram at omarortiz underscore photography. Post your edits and tag me so I can see your work. If you learned something from this video, please hit the like button and make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future content. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. Goodbye.